Hey there, everybody. This is the Warrior Fusion and Impact class. And uh, I mean, really, let's just get started on that note. Uh, guys, I have a great class for you guys. We're gonna be doing a modified sort of warm up today. Um, we're just going to be doing the floor stretches. Um, but then we're gonna move right to our class and we're gonna have a great time. Um, a lot of today's gonna be working on things like self-defense. We're gonna be working on sparring combinations. I'm gonna touch on some form drills, but we're not doing the form today. If you need to work on the form, which <clears throat> no offense, you probably do, everybody needs to, um, I want you guys to hop onto our Facebook page um, or just send us a message to say you need links to these videos uh, where you can see a professionally shot video that is just amazing timing going through it all. You can cast it on a TV and it's a lot easier to go through. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, feet together, hands by your side. Can I bow? <clears throat> Good, academy tenets with me. I will demonstrate leadership, strength, commitment, knowledge, respect. And bow. Very good. Move out. Do me. Let's just get 10 jumping jacks. Go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hop on the ground. We're going to get stretched out, and then we're going to kind of move into the, the fun we have planned for today. Let me move back so I can be seen. So having a seat, I'm going to put both of my legs straight out in front of me and then reaching forward. Um, I always recommend if you're doing online classes to stretch harder than you see one of us stretching. Um, and even maybe just before you start the video, because um, we might stretch and we will stretch, but I want you guys to make sure that you're stretched where you need to. And everything we throw on is just an added bonus. All right, from here we're going to take one of our legs right behind us and then reach it forward. And switch legs. All right, fun story. I, uh, I've already done this class with you. You didn't get to see it though, because the uh, video got deleted. <laughs> hey, let's not so we might be. So we are, uh, try it again, take two. But I went through the entire class. So I felt like I only went a little bit of All right, uh, from here, let's go ahead and get some side to side stretches on your own, count to 10, go for it. Good. When you finish up, take your legs out even wider, reach down the middle, and then side to side on your own. Don't just stretch in one area. Really get yourself stretched out so you can kick higher and harder today. Make those uh, kicks a lot better. Remember, your kick is only as high as your knee can go. So we gotta get those legs out. We can reach all around. All right. From here, let's go bring the bottoms of our feet together for what's called the butterfly stretch. And we'll hop up. Okay, we are going to hop up, please. And let's get uh, 10 more jumping jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right, uh, the first thing I want to work on is some self-defense with you, okay? Nice and easy. I'm going to be throwing just some sort of strikes towards you, and we're going to be blocking. I'm going to show it off a few times, then it's your turn. The strike's coming in. This is a bat, an arm, something like that. It's coming from the top of your head. They're striking down on you. As it's coming in, we're going to bring our arms up and X, high X, grab, punch. Let me get a little closer. So, high X. Grab, punch. Now, it completely depends on what arm is swinging towards you. You wanna make sure that like, for example, when I swing towards you, I'm gonna stop right here, and you're not gonna go this direction, follow with your hands, because that opens me up. And my, that might sound like a good idea, when you open me up, it allows me to throw a punch right back. So pretend I try to hit you and you strike me really hard this way, you're just saying, make it really easy on me. So, as I bring down these hammer fists, towards you, you're gonna be blocking and then following the hand so it crosses over me, throwing a punch. All right, ready? All right, it's all on you now. I'm throwing hook, I'm sorry, hammer, hammer fist, uh, and you are blocking, grabbing, and punching. Go for it. And bring it over, punch. My neck just cracked, that was weird. 
Get it over. Then just crack again. I think I'm going to die on camera. Nope, just joking. It'll be all right. Okay, I'm just going through this smoothly. You can kind of go fast, but don't go too fast. It's all about getting those, those core moves in. This is all about building muscle memory. I don't know if it's ever been explained to you, but it, the reason we do these self-defense, here comes another one. The reason we do these self-defense moves so many times is we're building muscle memory. I want to make sure that you're able to, if somebody just does it at the end of the day in 20 years, you haven't done martial arts in 10, all right? So a long time from now, that you're going to be like, oh, I forgot that, but my muscles didn't. I was ready to counteract. All right, let's head on to this one. This one's a little bit weird to do by yourself. You can do it though. And this is geared towards our white and yellow belt. So if you're new to the program, um, this one is for you. I'm gonna be grabbing towards your shoulder. Now, can I actually grab your shoulder? Can somebody actually grab your shoulder? No. Now you could just ask a parent or someone to come help you grab your shoulder. All they have to do is place their hand on your shoulder. And all you're gonna do is when that hand goes right there, you're gonna take this up the hand that's below it and make a big circle. So when somebody grabs my shoulder right here, I'm gonna pick straighten out this arm, and I'm not gonna do a little circle, I'm gonna do the biggest circle I can do, and the trick is to go fast. If I just go strong, it might push them off, but it's just gonna kinda of like bring them in closer, and it's kinda of weird. What I really wanna do is when they grab it under here, as fast as I can, just whip my arm around, because it knocks them off. It pitches their hand from here, and it knocks it down and off. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna kinda of like, like a 3D movie, reach towards the camera, and uh, you're going to arm swing away. It's really a timing thing. Obviously, everyone knows to do this. That's not a hard thing to practice. What I want to see you guys do is as soon as you see me reach, you're already doing it. You're prepared for it. You're not like, oh, he did it. Okay, let me think. No, try to be quick. Ready? And reach. And you just arm swing right there. Reach. Grabbing. Let's do one more. Okay, so what we worked on today, so I'm going to you the top of the head, we're doing high X block, grab, punch, or the other side, and the other one is going to grab my shoulder, arm swing, other side, arm swing, prepared for both. Excellent. Now, let's talk about proper striking and forms, how you need to be going through your form. I want to know that you guys are into your form. It's not you're doing your form. It's like you have stepped into a zone. And in this zone, it's all about forms. You forget everything in life. You forget that you have a test on Monday. You forget that your, your job review is coming up. You are just worried about one thing, and it is making your form amazing. Now, that can apply to a few things in martial arts, like getting in like a sparring beast mode kind of thing. But right now, we're talking about forms. So what I want you guys to do is go through your form, and I'm going to give you some time for it. And again, if you know your form already, you're just going to go through all of it. Otherwise, you're going to follow with me on section one. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that every single move has purpose and it's, it's good and, it, and, and we're into it the entire time. I don't want to see just kind of kind of half doing it. You're not just like, you're like yeah, I've done my form a million times with randoms. I don't need this. Well, today you need it because it's part of class. All right, so close fist, open hand. Now, I think if I go the opposite direction, it's correct for you, so we're going to try that. All right, so I'm going to hug. And even from that first move, it's not just... I'm shooting into the hug. I'm stepping out into a what stance? Front stance, and I'm already not impressed with it, so I'm gonna kinda of correct it. And from there, I'm bringing my arm out, outer forearm blow. I'm then following up with a quick, but sharp, elbow strike. I'm hugging, I'm blocking, and I'm raising it up, and as I do this high block, I'm picking up my heels. You guys see that? Like Michael Jackson. I'm picking up my heels and I'm turning high block was here, pick up, turn high block. From there, I'm not just punching and kicking, I am doing the strongest punch that I can, I'm following it up with a smooth front kick. This is a really sharp front kick. Then we're getting the punch in, front kick, punch, punch. Again, none of the moves were walking through it. The moves were sharp, they were strong, and it, you really were paying attention. You were putting 100% effort into every move. I'm gonna set a little bit of a quick timer for you guys, and I want you to go through your form by yourself. If you have section two and three, jump straight into that. Otherwise, you're doing your form by yourself. If you are not comfortable with your form, pause the video, go throw the Facebook video on, watch the form 10 times, and then come back to this part. Go for it. Oh, perfect timing. All right, I actually have a timer already set. 
All right, so you guys, right now you're going through your form and you're, you're just making sure that you look sharp. Every preparation is expertly executed. <laughs> Executor the Pokemon. All right, so again, right now you guys are doing your form in your rooms or your garages or your backyards. Um, maybe not your backyards, because if you're doing this like today or tomorrow, it's raining out right now. Ugh, gross. Um, but again, you're going through your form by yourself while I just kind of talk up here. I'm eventually going to yell, stop, but right now, keep going. Keep going with that form as much as you can. Again, I'd like to see you guys in section two and three that applies to you. Otherwise, you are just working on uh, what you have, which is possibly just section one or two. Um, and again, if you're not uh, clear on what those are like, you know to hop on Facebook now. Because I've said it, I think, three times. Um, so hopefully nobody has that question. All right, keep it up. We only have 10 seconds. Keep it up. Go through your form. Don't rush through it. Don't rush, run, and rush. Just make sure everything looks good. If you get cut off from it, it's fine. All right, from there, go ahead and give it a rest, guys. Now, excuse me, that was going through the form expertly. Just for fun, how about we go through our form as awful as we can? I want you guys to do your form one time. And you might be thinking, yeah, I just did that because I'm not that good at it. I understand. Let's, let's aim for bottom tier. You are saying, all right, I'm going to go to a competition, and I want to get sixth place out of six people. I want to do awful. Just for fun, let's see what you guys think that is. All right? Go for it. So we're doing our form as awful as we can. Mr. Michelle's gonna be like, I'm gonna review this one class by Mr. Adams. He's gonna see me doing this. <laughs> All right, so go through your form one time and you gotta look bad. So bad they're gonna call you the sheep. Keep it up, keep it up. I'm gonna cut you off soon. Keep, keep, keep doing awful, keep doing awful. You can do it awful again if you'd like. All right, right now, go ahead and bring it out on clothes. I want you to think, what made your form awful? What made you think, ah, that wasn't good? Was it just being that you were goofy and like throwing your arms around? Did you have a really bad stance? What made a form awful? Think about it for a second, and here's where we're going with this. We wanna do our form one more time today, and we wanna make sure that we look nothing like that person. So there's the kid in class that's always interrupting. There's the guy at the job that's just never getting it right. We wanna be 0% like them. Not yeah, I kind of get it. Nothing like that person. Johnny and Greg, yuck. We want to be like Ross and Rachel, all right? So we want to go over to this side. We want to be great, okay? Because they were great. Anyways, we're doing our form one more time. And what I want to see you guys do is just the absolute best that you can do. Remember, it's not the best that I can do. It's not the best that Mr. Lane or Mr. Rashad or Mr. Jaley can do. It is the best that you are personally capable of, whoever you are, all right? So... Ready? Tune B. We're not in a rush. If you need more time, just rewind if I stop you. Otherwise, go through your form one time as perfectly as you can. Ready, set, go. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds for this. That should be plenty of time to get through all of your form. Again, if you need more time, then that's obviously okay as well. Um, go ahead and just keep working that form. Make sure you have strong stances, good preparations. You're striking hard. We were kind of already doing perfect earlier, so this should be a no-brainer after we did our awful one that we will never talk about again. Okay. All right, keep going, keep going. Let me get something ready. Time, that's it. All right, so you were probably already kind of just sitting around and waiting on me to be done with, or you uh, were just got cut off right there. Um, so regardless, great job with your forms, all right? Even if you're not feeling confident with your forms, you already know how to work on that because I've given you that resource to go take care of it. Um, but be appreciative of yourself for hopping onto this class and working hard already. Let's continue the hard work. We're gonna talk about sparring for a little bit. Now, in past classes, I, I have, and I think Mr. Coble as well, We've talked about how to hit a thing in a certain way. Um, we're going to work on this movement. So I have a bag. If you have a bag, that's great, but not required, never required. I do want you to have something you can work around. You might ask your mom to just come stand in the middle of the room while she scrolls through Facebook. You might ask, um, you put a cone in the middle of the room or a sleeping dog, but you need something that you can move around. I really didn't have to use the bag. I could have used like a, one of our rings here or like a pad. Um, you just need something that you can maneuver around. All right, go ahead and find something like that. I'm assuming that you found it by now. If not, pause the video and I'll pause. All right, so you have found your object and you're moving around. 
What we are just doing is working on keeping our body turned the way we want it. So right now we have decided that this person is always going to be looking towards us. There's eyes that are always pinned towards us, even as we move. So I want to make sure that my body is always pinned kind of away from the body. I don't, I don't need to have just like my back like this. Because then I have no eyesight on him. But I do want to make sure that I am, like right now, my stomach is extremely exposed to you guys. You guys can see my entire stomach torso area. This person cannot. It would be like as if I came up to you guys and I just snapped over to the side. That's what I want us to work on is our body is turned aside, but our attention is towards the bag. Here's the goal today. We have our object, and it might be on the ground, it's fine. But you want to keep turned away as you move around, you're gonna notice that even as I come back to you guys, you now see my back, but my target is only ever seeing my side or my face, really. So what we're doing is we're just gonna like, like walk it around. If you want to do this level, we're shuffling around, that's kind of the next level, so. All right, moving around your target, we're shuffling around, but we're keeping our body pinned to the side. You can switch directions at any point. Don't feel like you need to walk in a circle the entire time. That would kind of defeat the purpose because you would never actually spar like that. So I'm moving on my back, but I'm never Stepping and exposing myself and saying, ah, hurt me, hurt me. All right, from now, let's go ahead and switch sides. We now have our hands in an entire different direction, but you can walk in either direction. Go for it. All right, moving around. Just focusing on knowing how to keep it away from them, okay? Keep your stomach away. Um, and the reason we do this, go ahead and keep moving if you'd like to, but listen to my voice. The reason we do this is if we're, we're turned to the side, right now we only have to protect our stomach and our head. Whereas right here, go ahead and watch me real quick. You have to protect here, 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 okay? That's a lot of stuff to protect. Whereas this is two things. So keep that in mind. Now, as we move around, what I want you guys to work on is every few seconds, I'll let, I'll let it be up to you, uh, no, no timing on this one. Every few seconds, throw out a front kick or a punch. Just one move as fast as you can. It's your way of engaging. Kind of like in a competition, you're kind of hunting them down, you're kind of like waiting for your opening. Boom, I saw it, all right? So, what we're working on, we're just moving around, moving around, all right? And then when you feel like you can, you're throwing out either a front kick or a punch. Your choice, I do not care what anyone it is. You can also switch directions whenever you want. So you're switching movement styles, you're switching sides, and you're doing a front kick or a punch. You have a lot of freedom right now. On your own, go ahead and move your way around your bag, dog, or mom on her phone. Go for it. Move around your bag. Don't be afraid to switch sides. Don't be afraid to switch directions. Kind of broke the rules right there. Keep it up as you're moving around. Go for a little bit longer now. Keep it up. All right, right about now, let's go ahead and relax. So that was great overall. Um, I want to do one more drill moving around this person or thing. I'm sorry if you actually dragged your mom into this. Mom, uh, go check out the, uh, I don't know, Wendy's Twitter page. That sounds funny. Um, I'm sorry. Okay, you have to keep staying on your phone a little longer. So. Otherwise, we're moving around our object. And with that object, what I want you guys to do is we're just going to be actually facing we're doing the exact opposite now. And your job is to go from point A, where I'm standing, to point B, right next to where I'm standing, as fast as you can. Are you ready? All right. So this time we're facing this side. Let me show you guys one real quick. I'm just shuffling my feet. I'm close to the, my bag, but you can close to that person as well. Um, and you're not hiding yourself. You're, you're close to it. You're... you're, you're, you're uh, Sorry, right, you're facing towards the entire time. Here's what we do. We wind in and we unwind. So now that I've gotten here, I go the other way. Now that I've gotten here, I go the other way. Go ahead, go. Shuffle stepping. Unwind. Keep it up, keep it up. Going around one way and unwind. Go around, unwind. Keep it up, keep it up. About to move on. Keep it up. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, well, you're, you're done with your 
Rotating object, you don't need it anymore. <laughs> All right, so get rid of them. Don't get rid of your mom. I don't think any of you actually use your mom. I just gave that example. If you did, you owe her. Give her like a high five or something. Okay, the next thing I wanna do with you guys is uh, some board breaking tips. And how we're gonna work on that is kind of um, hitting the air, but that's gonna sound a little weird until it isn't. Um, here's my idea. If you can break the air, break the air, then you can break a board. Here's what I mean. Let's, let's start off with a elbow strike. If I have a silent elbow strike, that doesn't count. So for example, I have pretty silent. But if you can kind of hear the whoosh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Very faint. You might not hear a thing, but I can hear it because my ear is next to it. And you guys are going to hear it for yourself as well, especially if you're wearing your uniform top. Um, so what you're working on is just some strong elbow strikes. But are we just... No. Guys, the whole thing with class today is not... You know, just walking through these drills. We have to give 100% every single time because we're not, it's not an easy way of training right now online. So we got to give all of our effort in, okay? More so than you'd think we'd expect because I'm not going to be there to go, mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, Donovan, what are you doing? All right. So make sure we are giving 100% effort. All right. So here's your guys' uh, objective four elbow strikes, two on each arm. Uh, let's go ahead and get some strong elbow strikes. Break the air, but not the wind. All right, go for it. I got one more. Very good. Okay, so that was four elbow strikes. Let's try a kick this time. I'm thinking just a simple front kick. So we're gonna start with one leg behind us, of course, and we're gonna lift that knee and kick. The kick part is after you lift your near knee. You cannot just lift your entire leg. That is not a front kick. What you're going to do is you're gonna lift your knee, kick, pull back, sit down. Make sure you're focusing on the ball of your foot hitting forward. Uh, I'm going to kind of use a side profile off right now, but you guys are going to be working on these front kicks. Let's do it again. Two on each side. Go for it. Front kicks break the air. Did you guys hear that one? Yeah? Switch sides. Okay. Excellent. That was two options. Now I want you guys to pick your own. Pick a side kick or a round kick, or pick a hammer fist or palm strike. So you guys have choices, you have four choices. Side kick, round kick, palm strike, or uh, hammer fist. Choose your favorite and go through it a few times. Practice on what you need to practice on. And I want you guys to think about what in mind. Board breaking. So on your own, let's go ahead and get two on each side, but you're choosing. So I, you can't watch me, you can't copy me, because I'm just going to watch you guys, all right? I'm going to be judging you. On your own, work on either a side kick, round kick, uh, palm strike, or hammer fist. Your choice to go through any four of those. Uh, again, a total of four, two on each side. Go. All right. So you are just working on the powerful moves, but really what this is called is technique. You're not focusing on breaking anything because it's just the air. So that forces you to work on things like having a good stance and making sure that it's lined up properly and making sure that uh, if, it, if it needs to hit here, you're hitting exactly in that pinpoint accuracy area. You're not just hitting around the board, all right? Awesome. So by now you're of course finished um, because I'm a long talker. Um, so, great job with that. I want to do, I think, just one more thing with you guys. Um, yeah. So, I want to do a little bit of a workout with you guys, uh, but I need to grab our lucky cube. I'm not going to force us to do anything. We're going to see what the cube makes us do. So, I'll be right back. If you have been to one of my classes, you know I'm a huge fan of this cube, uh, the joke is we call it the cube of doom. Um, if you have not been to one of my classes, then lucky you, today's your day. <laughs> um, so uh, we are going to be just tossing this around and we're going to see what it lands on. Here's the fun of it though. I want you guys to expertly guess how many you're doing. So we're going to roll this five times, five times. And I want you guys to yell out to yourself what you are going to do for that round. So it might land on things like jumping jacks, sit-ups, squats, 
lunges, push-ups, or the mysterious wild. If it goes on wild, I'll explain that. Now, here's what we're gonna do. You see me throw it in the air. Before it hits the ground, you have decided on a number. And that number is between five and 10. And whatever it lands on, you get that many. So for example, this is an example, don't do it right now. I throw it up, I say seven, and it ended up landing on push-ups. So I would get seven push-ups. But I could have possibly, if I wanted to do more push-ups, I would have tried to guess 10 early on. Again, we're doing this five times, so do each number. You need a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, and a 10. All right, to go through all of them. I guess you just need a six and an up, but should we roll it six times? Anyways, it's your choice. You have to, you have to sh at least shout out a five, a six, a seven, eight, nine, or 10. Ready? All right, here's our first one. Let's get to work. You've already guessed your number. You've already guessed your number. And the answer is push-ups. The answer is push-ups. I uh, cowardly picked five, which is apparently going right. Sounds like we're gonna get push-ups a lot today if we've already gotten two. So whatever your number was, get that many in push-ups. Go for it. All right, I got my five push-ups. You've already called your number. By now, you already said it. It was sit-ups this time. I'm just gonna go up. All right, so I went from five earlier. Now I'm personally on six, but you're on your numbers. You don't have to go in order, but I'm going in order. All right, we're doing sit-ups this time. Go for it. And that's six. All right. Ready for the next one? Here we go. I'm personally doing seven. Sit-ups again, all right. Whatever your number your guess was, remember it was between five and 10. Uh, and you can, you can duplicate numbers too, I guess, but you can't duplicate five the entire time. I guess you shouldn't duplicate. I'm doing seven personally, sit-ups, sit-ups. All right, back at it. So I have eight, so I'm going up, personally. It landed on push-ups, I don't know if you can see that. Push-ups. Whatever your number was, give that many, mine's personally eight. Go for it. I think that was eight. All right. Next one for me is nine. You get it. You don't, you, I don't need to explain it anymore. Ah, oh, jumping jacks. The easy one. Get your number in jumping jacks. Oh, almost a 10. All right, grand finale for me. All right, ready? You only have one number left. You're like me, you save 10 for last because you're hard on yourself. Squats, we got a new one. All right, legs out, keep your back straight. For me, it's 10 squats, your number for your squats. Go for it. I think that was 10, let's do one more to be safe. All right, great job. Feet together, hands by your side. Can I am out. Great job, guys. I'll see you next time.